Hello there and welcome back. This is Coach Lois here to talk to you about the lead prospecting sheet. This is a follow-up supplemental to how to use the daily compass. So to me, my core values and passion in this course all revolve around time and money. Once you honor and respect and master your time, and so by doing also your money through using these tools of the daily compass and the lead prospecting sheet, you are going to make a lot of money and a lot of impact because you're going to be helping a lot of people. You won't be dropping leads. You won't be leaving money on the table. You won't be doing this, the roller coaster ride, also known as peaks and valleys or feast or famine in your income. How many of you would like to have predictable, sustainable, as well as increasing income. Well, that's the why behind using the Daily Compass and this document. You know me, I'm passionate about my clipboard. I have it with me, I take it with me wherever I go. If, if actually, if I all of a sudden have to go to the doctor, bring the kids somewhere that wasn't on the schedule, guess what? Work comes with me and I have everything here, my prospecting sheets, my daily compass. So here's a quick review. Of course, there's no better way of learning how to use the daily compass or this prospecting sheet other than doing. You can watch this video over and over again, but it's just like reading a book to figure out how to ride a bicycle or run a marathon, right? And of course, same analogy I've used many times, the, the best home run hitters came from the most strikeouts. So give yourself some grace and understand that this is a new habit, a new muscle, a new like a fitness routine or a new diet. It's all about developing over time the habit. If you haven't been using any kind of lead prospecting or tracking form, which sadly I think is 80 to 90% of the population out there, um, you're going to take some time. Usually, again, each 12-week year, you learn a new habit and you reinforce it after that 66th day is when science tells us it's not 21 days that make a habit. It's 66 and beyond. So if you're just starting your 12-week year, I would have one of your tactics be master using this form, of course, along with the daily compass and guide. So you find the form the same way. You can go to dailycompassandguide.com and download it from there and get emails and actually another training videos and all of that kind of stuff. But usually you can just get it inside of the member vault or inside of um, this program. Bring your questions. Talk to your accountability buddies about it. All of the things that will drive you to your success. Progress over perfection. So here we are picking up where we left off. We go through daily compass and then we have the daily prospecting sheet. Now depending on where you downloaded this, just FYI, you might have slightly different versions and oh by the way, you can totally change it if you want to personalize it. There is a method to my madness though. This is very specific to this course, email list building, all of the things that I teach. Um, however, you know, I had one client who's amazing, Nicole Magic. She she totally did a overhaul and made it her own. And that's fantastic. That's fantastic. So do you. Uh, however, I would say at least to give it a week or two um, of experiential, consistent application before you do too much changing. So there's an old adage that I put at the top increase your sales in less time by knowing your numbers. Knowing your numbers, you can grow your numbers. It's definitely great to print these out so you can again take pen to paper. You notice here at the top, you write the date, your name, your sales goals. And this I would put either your 12 week year sales goal or your annual sales goal, whatever works for you. How many sales per month per 12 weeks or Per year, whatever works better in your brain. Income goal, same thing. Is it per month, per 12 week, or for this year, 12 month period? Of course, I have email list additions because like I shared with you, if I didn't have a goal, if I didn't have an end result, 
I would not have built my email list, which was part of my teaching you to build something that's an asset, an ATM. You build it once, it's there for life, and you can monetize it for the rest of your days. Then breaking it down to weekly goals, again, recommitting to that, writing it down, pen to paper every day. Do not do this on your computer, okay? Even if you don't have a printer, go, go get one or go to someone who has a printer, a neighbor, a friend, or go to, you know, whatever, FedEx, Kinko's, and print out a hundred, <laughs> whatever you need to do. I print them out on both sides, so one on one side, one on the other, but you can print them out double, you know, two pages, doesn't matter to me, whatever is best for you. You'll find your best practice, and that's, that's perfect. So you write down your weekly goals, Webinars, just so you know what that means is if you are a webinar person or if you're doing LinkedIn Lives or Facebook Lives, again, you can change this. What are you doing to make noise visually? Or if, you, if you're on a podcast, if you're getting a goal to be on one podcast every week. I have a goal of either doing my own webinar every week, obviously my own podcast, but then also being on other podcasts, being on other speaking stages. Those are the things that because I had weekly goals, I could measure. I could track my results, I could then make money, and it was a, a really great practice for me. So next is this section, and this might be a little confusing, but who are you connecting with that's a past client or someone in your sphere of influence, which is your warm market? Then you're looking for new connections, right? You're always filling that pipeline every day with permission-based marketing, beat posts, speaking engagements, opt-ins to your landing pages, et cetera, et cetera. I go for five new additions on Facebook every day, five new additions on LinkedIn every day. You can write that in there as well. But write down who you added, any little information. There are as a notes section down below. And I realize there's not a lot of space here. Make best use of it. Do whatever you can. And then, of course, who are you following up with today? Remember, the fortune is in the follow-up. And oftentimes, if you're confused by this, just remember, if you followed up with past clients and Sphere, asking for referrals or asking, hey, would you support me by jumping on my webinar, things of that nature, getting into my email list, make note of what they said, and maybe you left a message, that's fine too. Maybe you sent them a message and they didn't reply, that's fine too. You may want to follow up with them, right? New contacts, definitely want to follow up with them and lead them through your process. If they didn't give you an answer the first day, how are you going to follow up with them? Make note of that and then put it on your calendar, put it on your Excel spreadsheet, put it in your CRM when you're going to follow up. Of course, the non-negotiable that I talked about earlier in the daily compass section was every day you have one big thing to focus on and that's a power hour of prospecting. You have a hundred options. <laughs> I'm not saying you have to connect with a hundred people every day, but I, I am to the point where I do send between me and my virtual assistant now a hundred messages, combination of phone calls, but mostly Facebook messages, LinkedIn messages, sometimes emails, but it's all outbound. It's all done in one hour. And then, of course, I have my affirmation of I am an appointment setting machine. Don't forget about that. The ultimate goal is to get people on a sales call, a webinar, a sales call, a webinar, a sales call, a webinar. They're hearing you speak and you're closing them with an offer, a proposal, something of that nature that's leading them to spend money with you. And again, we'll be training on all of this inside of the class. Then you can also track and I'm not even saying you're gonna use every single section of this. You can also track how many phone calls um, or replies you received, um, who you connected with, meaning how many, um, how many follow-ups, how many additions to your email list. This is kind of like an EOD, an end of day report, so that you can then track it elsewhere, whether it's in your CRM, if it's, you know, in, in some other kind of system that you use, it's better to have it um, in multiple spots on paper and somewhere in an Excel spreadsheet, CRM, or whatever accounting software that you have specifically when it comes to money. So you can also take notes. You can also do an additional way of prospecting 
and business results if you want. I kind of give you multiple options to see what is your best way of tracking. Again, you can delete any of this and personalize it and make it your own. The goal here is not to overthink it. The goal here is to say, I'm going to be committed to this because I am essentially, by using this document, a business owner. I'm a CEO. All major corporations track their numbers because, again, you know your numbers. You can grow your numbers. You can also inspect what you expect. If you are reaching out to X number of people and you're not getting Y result, that might mean you have to either increase your numbers or you have to tweak and refine your process. And that's where you come to class and you ask questions based on what you see getting done or not getting done and even asking questions about how to better utilize this document. And again, using it every day that is your working day and knowing that this will make you more money in possibly as fast as the first week of using it. I've seen it happen. I've seen miracles happen as a result of people putting pen to paper and tracking those leads and not dropping them. And then the cool thing is, is you, you can, at the end of the day, input information wherever you want to put it, um, but you can save it in a file folder and review your month at a glance. And you can almost bet your bottom dollar that you're going to see a difference on the days where you used it or where you didn't, and it's going to change your life. So we're here to serve you and support you and see you win. So have an amazing experience with this. Bring your questions to the table in class, and I look forward to seeing your success.